We are 1039 WDKX, the Wigan Club. Thank you for making this part of your day. Halfway through the WDKX Wigan Club water cooler. One of the trusted doctors we have on every week for the Wednesday morning house call, Dr. Janice Hartman from Jordan Health. You can get more information on the services Jordan Health provides at jordanhealth.org. Jordanhealth.org. Good morning, Dr. Hartman. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Uh, always good to have you here on a Wednesday morning. I just want to remind folks, you know, we were talking a little bit earlier this week with the uh, uh, Rochester Jamaican organization, and uh, there will be a clinic that's taking place. I know Jordan Health is a part of it with Black Physicians, Black Nurses Association. Uh, it's going to be this upcoming Saturday, starting at 10. Uh, it's going to be right at the Boys and Girls Club on Genesee Street. And just a reminder to folks out there, that is open to the public. It is a great health uh, screening event, vaccine. You can get it there as well. And Jordan is a part of it, too. Uh, talk a little bit about that, Dr. Hartman. This is a one-stop shop, not just for COVID, for a lot of other health issues that are going on in the community. It's a lot of health issues, and all of our community friends are joining together. Um, we're part of Community Fighting COVID at, at the Jordan Health along with the Black Physician Network, the Rochester Black Nurses Association, and the Rochester Jamaican Organization. So um, we will have Pfizer vaccine, so any person 12 years or up can get vaccinated if they have not been vaccinated. A lot of dental screenings, um, health screenings, HIV screenings will be taking place. Again, it's important to know, get screened and know about your health. Uh, Dr. Janice Harbin joins us now. I know, Ray, you were asking the question, we do this segment every week where there's sort of truth or misinformation. There's a lot of stuff that's out here that starts to circulate uh, through different networks. It could be social media. It could be conversation. It could be anything. Uh, what was your question for this week, Ray? Yes. So we had a couple frontliners text in and wanting to know about the vaccine and if you have a compromised immune system or if your immune system is suppressed by medication that you're taking or like say you had had a kidney transplant or you're on dialysis or something like that, that the vaccine works a little differently and could be less effective. That, uh, that is true. You could be fully vaccinated if you're immune compromised. So you could be fully vaccinated, and we would encourage folks to get fully vaccinated naturally. Always talk to your physician first. Um, but you may not be fully protected, and that's just because of your immune system. And it may not, uh, but it's, it is some protection. So, again, if you are immune compromised, um, you have um, active um, HIV or AIDS, you have, uh, my sister has cancer. She's going through chemotherapy. She's fully vaccinated, but we use every precaution around her um, to make sure that we know that she's not fully protected because of her immune system. So you do want to make sure you still protect yourself and still protect your relatives, you know. I, I'm getting tired of people telling me they're young and they're this and they're healthy, what about your mama? What about your grandma, big mama? Protect yeah, yeah, them. Protect mm -hmm. them. You know. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people. To see anybody pass out at a funeral because, uh, and they know they didn't help protect that person. Protect mm -hmm. them if you feel that you're okay. Yeah, it's 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 not about me. It's about we, and I think that's a you it's know about that's interesting. We. That's yeah, we can talk a little bit about that. Uh, 423 423 if you need help or have any other questions involving sort of the issues that are going on within the uh, community. It doesn't have to be specifically COVID. It could be just about anything. I know we're talking about this. What do you think, uh, Dr. Hartman? There has been news from uh, world uh, healthcare organizations. Private companies have been now mandating employees to get vaccinated. What are your thoughts on that? And uh, will Jordan... Uh, be doing the same thing? Well, Jordan is, is proud to say and happy to say that we're 93% of our employees and our vendors, so anyone that's coming in our building that's doing business with us are fully vaccinated. So that is a good thing. Our employee nurse, our infection control nurse is constantly reaching out to the few who have not been vaccinated. 
So um, so we're proud of that, and we will continue going after those employees who have not, who have chosen not to. Um, I was just in Terrytown at a state meeting with a community health centers like Jordan, and that was the topic. Should we be mandating? Um, right now, um, that is not the case. However, I think that every business has the right to make a decision what's best for their company and the employees that work for their company. So, but right now, Jordan Health is proud to say we're 93% uh, that's fully vaccinated, and that is, when you look at the data, that's unusual any place in the country. Um, I, I do want to ask before you go, Dr. Uh, Jettis Harvin joins us now for Jordan Health. There has been a change in the CDC. They have now recommended, especially for highly uh, numbered places that have COVID-19, to go back to masks. Now, I know the number one question is, what about us? Well, so far, uh, that mandate has not been put in by the Monroe County Health Department. I know Dr. Michael Mendoza says that our numbers are extremely low, uh, lower than the rest of the country. I think we're at 2%. Um, but your thoughts on really masks. A lot of us really never gave up masks, Dr. Harbin. So, I mean, it, you ain't really changing nothing for us. Me, if you, you had masks. Look, you know, you're talking to me. I have said consistently, I, I know what I've done. And I may know what my kids done or the colleagues I work with, what they have done as far as, as, far as getting vaccinated. I don't know you. I'm in, in the grocery store. I don't know you. And I'm counting based on the data that I'm, if I'm going past 20 people, I know a good um, eight of you didn't get vaccinated. None of you have on masks. So protect yourself. I, I believe that is a great idea. Keep in mind this Delta variant is very potent. So people, and if you're fully vaccinated, if you if the Delta variant got to you, you would hope it would keep you out of the hospital. You wouldn't get as sick. But most of the time, you don't even know that you caught it. So now you're spreading it to other people. Protect yourselves. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. And still social distance. You know, we social distance. I, and I know every colleague I have in, in Jordan Health has been vaccinated. And we would be in a boardroom, and we're six feet apart wearing masks. And I know they're vaccinated, but why take the chance? Absolutely. That's a good point. Dr. Janice Harper, thank you for your time and the truth this morning. I appreciate it. You be, you be safe, and we'll talk to you next Wednesday. Okay. You guys continue just being crusaders and fighters in this community. I just I love WDKF, and you guys take care of yourself. Thank you for your time and service to this community. We are 1039 WDKX.